All right, uh, hello again. I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. And uh, um, we pray that you and your family are doing well. Um, here in our city, um, our COVID case is not going up again. And so the government recently have put in a curfew. So we have a curfew from 7 p.m. at night until 5 a.m. in the morning. And other than that, um, things are doing really okay in our city. Um, but in terms of ministry, um, well, good thing for Ian, her ministry is here in the village with the children, so that's that's good. And children are not allowed to go out, um, to go downtown or go out in the village without uh, special permission. So the kids are very safe here. Um, so she's still involved with her ministry, and she will be the one next one's video with me she'll be the one speaking so we're gonna take turns um and also just recently also we had one scare of of one of from one of our staff who came who was in touch with somebody who who had the symptoms of covid and so she had to <clears throat> take some time and um but she's doing pretty pretty much better now much better and for Angelique she just made the the honor roll so she's busy busy every day <laughs> doing her school work and yes having time to herself so she she's a homebody but other than that um, we just want to thank God I thank God for for each of you and um, you know in all that's happening we can trust him and rely on him and we don't have to fear because he is in control. And even in, even when we experience fears of different different sort and kinds, the fear of having COVID, uh, the fear of, of not what's gonna happen, not knowing what's gonna happen tomorrow, we know that he is in control and we can trust him. So I just wanna just give you a quick encouraging word. Um, you know, We've been, I'm a part of this fellowship, we call it Pastors Development um, and Leaders Fellowship here in Davao. And it encompasses um, pastors from different churches, even from outside of our city. And we, we would meet together and plan different activities, um, speaking engagement, different uh, practical things like how to use Zoom and so on with these pastors. Because we realize that even in this time, many pastors also are struggling, uh, not being able to get back to normal life. And, um, and so we still try to find a way where we can encourage each other, encourage them in the ministry. And, you know, one of the things that came out, we were talking about Zoom and how to use Zoom. And at the end, we were so grateful to God, you know, because the Lord provided a way to keep his ministry going even before the pandemic started we had messenger we have all these other um, applications that we can use to keep to do video conferences and uh, now pastors are doing bible studies over the internet and and it's amazing what god is doing and how he's just reaching out and we're able to even reach more people via the internet and so we thank god we had so much to thank god for um, because he's actively still keeping his ministry to his feet going. And um, I want to want to share with you a little bit from Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. And the first, the first um, verse of the Bible it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And as, as, you know, as we, we think about this, it says, And this in Genesis 1, 1, that was the first place where the name of God, the name of God is revealed and is taken out, especially during the, the whole of the Old Testament. It is uh, repeated again and again, that name, one name of God. And it's Elohim. And, and it says, God is the creator. In the beginning, God, Elohim, created the heavens and the earth. And this is where also we have our first um, expose 
of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, because this word is also in its plural form. So it's, it's, it's in the beginning, there were gods, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit working together. I know God is one, but he is creator. He is the ruler. He is the God over every other God. You know, in here in, especially here in Southeast Asia, we, we see so many physical um, idols. We have Buddha, the, Bo the Buddhists. We have, there are so many idols. There's Mary, there's Joseph, there's this saint, that saint from the Catholics. There's so many physical idols. But also, we know that they are idols of pride, of money, of fame. But God is above every other God. And, you know, and, you know, reality, with the COVID going around, shutdowns going down in every country in the world, we know that God is in control and we can trust him. And on, for me, one of, I just want to share with you quickly one of the things in my part of my journey is that um, I was, when I came back to the, to the Philippines in March, sorry, in April, I got locked down in Manila because no flights were going. So I had, and it was until June, so I had a couple of months there just to just spend time with the Lord. And one of the things the Lord was speaking to me is to give, is to, it's time to move on from the leadership of YWAM Davao. And so when I came back, I spoke to um, the other leaders here, our chairman here in YWAM Mindanao. And I said, you know, I felt the Lord said it's time for me to give and give up the, the leadership of YWAM Davao, but not to lead, but to serve the new leaders. At that time, I did not know who the leaders are, but I just felt that it should be somebody who's much younger. And so with that process, we found out later that the Lord was speaking to a younger couple, a Filipino couple, who actually did their YWAM training here in Davao many years ago. And God has been confirming His word to them. And so they came forward and said, no, this is what we felt God is doing and speaking to us. And so now we went to the leadership of YWAM, YWAM Philippines and that process got started. And even today, we're going to be praying over them later, later this morning as YWAM Philippines. And I am so glad the way how God works. So I know I'm right. And now I'm just, we are just waiting. Okay, Lord, what, what's your next? step for us as a family what's your next step for me in the in your ministry and so and as a reminder for me you know it's just trusting god do what he says trust his word i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow but i'm just going to trust him and i want to encourage you maybe um what you're trusting god for is it may not seem big it may not it may seem small well, even if it's big, I want to encourage you to trust God's word because he is at work. And many times he hides these things from us because he wants us to learn to just trust him because he is Elohim. He is creator God. He's the one that spoke the word into existence, that spoke you and me into existence. And if he, if he can take care of the stars in the sky... If he can take care of, he can take care of you and me. So I want to say thank you again today for serving the Lord. Thank you for keeping, uh, following him, trusting his word. And I want to encourage you. He is your Elohim. He is my Elohim. And he will never leave us alone. Amen. So God bless you as you keep pursuing him and trust him. Amen.